And that's the player introductions completed. So in just a few moments, we'll be back and ready for action. for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight, with our reporter, Ali LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. And here in October, we have a little indication of what may be coming in the East. You take a look at Philadelphia. They've started strong this year, holding the second-place spot. And, of course, there are the Pistons. Quite a bit of space between these two. Well, this one's about to get going, but first, let's check in with Ali LaForce. VA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more... Well, we'll see what comes of it, Ali. Thank you. Well, Grant, you were a master of meshing with your teammates. How key is being on the same page early in the year? Oh, it's so important, especially early in the season. Teams that go. come together and mesh as a core have a great advantage at the start of the season. Now let's check out the starters for the Detroit Pistons. Cunningham and Bay, the wing pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Lee in at the point. And for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid is out there with Kevin Durant. Then it's James Harden. Then there's Eric Gordon. And it's Maxi in at the two-guard spot. Here's Stewart. Grant outside. 6 to shoot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal foul. In the NBA, everyone wants a 3 and D player. Jeremy Grant certainly fits that ball. He does. During his first five years in the league, Jeremy Grant was traded twice for first-round picks. Of course, he also signed a giant free agent contract in the summer of 2020, showing you just how much teams value Jeremy Grant's skills. Came into this league as a defensive specialist. Now Jeremy Grant is becoming an offensive powerhouse. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Lee. Pass to Bay. Grant outside. Back to Bay. the block launches a three Durant no good here in the first a little over a minute played so far here's Grant and he tries it off the glass but it's no good mixing it up inside just coming up empty handed for three Maxi hits a three pointer we just love how reliable he is night in and night out this offense is there here's Lee with the drive Blocked by Embiid. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. And that one's good by Durant. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. The Pistons have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Stewart against Embiid. Grab the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. That's a good opportunity. But he needs to go up a little stronger, in my opinion. No coverage that time. Oh, they're really settling into a nice rhythm now. Starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. And with the season still getting up to full speed, here are the latest power rankings. Let's see who's off to the races. You take a look at the Knicks. They're making moves up the standings, claiming that fourth spot. 
Well right now for the 76ers they've been giving their all in every game eager to show those who doubted them that they're capable of being the top team. Now here's Bay. In his last outing he had 11 points. Back to Lee. Will it go? Gordon with a steal. Durant pass to Gordon. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Grant. The Pistons trailing. Pass to Bay. Grant with a screen on Gordon. Now Grant. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Here's Maxi over Cunningham. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Harden, the pass to Durant. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And here's Detroit. They want to keep rolling here, following a win against Atlanta. And as a rule of thumb, the road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collectively produced a lot of points. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Last year, you really had to protect the ball against these teams. The 76ers, number one. The Steel's numbers only tell part of the story. This was a team that made trouble for every opponent with their incredible effort on the defensive end. Tries to snap the cold streak. And Cunningham gets it to go on the assist from Grant. A jack of all trades. Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. An outstanding first quarter from the field. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Lee, defended by Harden. And Eric Gordon. Gordon gets the whistle That's that time. That's foul. his first foul of the game. And that puts them just one now foul the from the bonus. The and a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Jordan's checked in for Embiid. Tucker comes in for Durant. Niang, he's checked in for Gordon. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Maxi. And a new group getting ready for the Pistons. Olenek's checked in for Stewart. Bagley comes in for Grant. Diallo's checked in for Bay. And Joseph is subbed in for Lee. Now here's Diallo. Out left to the wing. Takes a three. Detroit, no good that time either. The Sixers leading. Jordan, pass to Harden. Drills it from deep. Harden's got five now. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Here's Cunningham, defended by Harden. Here's Joseph. And right away, they Corey match Joseph. it with a three-pointer of their own. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Trains the triple. An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. Now here's Bagley. Against Atlanta, he was really on his game. Inside, five to shoot. Here's Diallo. Not going to go that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul. 
Detroit has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter of the game. And that one's good. Bagley. For Philadelphia, they've gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Pass to Nia. And here's Harden. Jacks up a three. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. And right now, if you're the defense, you've got to be careful. Harden excels at finding ways to get to the free throw line. Harden. At the line for three. And the second free throw is good. And let me throw out one of my favorite James Harden notes. He's the only player in history to score 30 points in a game against all other 29 teams in the league in a single season. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's Cunningham, defended by Harden. And he drives in. And it's Cunningham missing. Philadelphia has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. And slam dunk by Jordan. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. There's a screen. Pass to Olenek. Here's Cunningham. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Throws it up high. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Outside Harden. Pass to Tucker for three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. And they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Harden. Here's Westbrook. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Westbrook's got five now. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And so it's Philadelphia up 15 points as this quarter concludes. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Joel Embiid, he's not satisfied with the way he's playing recently. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. And uh, I guess the process continues, Grant. And with big men, it's got to be a team effort. You got to feed him the rock, BA inside, and help him get it going. Five second inbound violation. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a Detroit wide margin ball. on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three point shooting has been terrific in the first half. The other thing that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A lot of points coming on the run. Setting the floor for Detroit. Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Saban Lee is out there with Hamadou Diallo. And it's Stewart in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Outside for Grant. Pass to Stewart. Back to Lee. Hey, from beyond the arc, buries it from three. And there's a 10-second limit on free throw routines. But we see some players ask for time before they get the ball. Grant, do you think that should count as part of their time? see why not I mean it's about keeping the game moving so asking the ref to hold the ball longer uh, not exactly compatible a chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline hey Brian well there's an annual survey of NBA executives going into last season the Pistons were selected for worst offseason but with the promise of their young players guys some optimism that the rebuild in the Motor City is off to a strong start 
physical, defensive-minded, Allie. That's Detroit basketball, isn't it? Buries it. He's two for four in this game. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with this offense. Durant, pass to Gordon. The Sixers with another miss. The Pistons have gone two of four here in the second quarter. To the inside. Back to Diallo. This one for three. Another three for Detroit. Here's Westbrook. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Knicks in New York. Embiid high post. And Embiid gets the double team. Durant for three. Pure from three-point range. Durant's got his third basket of the night. And what do you expect? Durant's not going to let you disrespect him on the other end without an answer. T-shirt time. We got three shirts. Who wants to make the noise? All right, coming out to the court right now, it's your Sixers dance team. Droppers last year. Russell Westbrook on top. It was a virtuoso performance. They ran the offense through him time and time again. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Pass to Graham. Here's Lee. Eight points in his last timeout. Back to Grant. Oh, Graham throws it down. This is a familiar sight. Jeremy Grant making his way to the rim and finishing strong. You look back at the 2014 NBA draft. Some of the best players of that class were second-round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two-way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th overall to Philly. Woo. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in that 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second rounder. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. Starting to heat up now. Now one from behind the arc in the first quarter, two here in the second. Here's Grant. And again, Jerry it's Detroit Grant. converting. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter, but they're starting to pick it up now. Durant for three. No good. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Following this game, they host the Magic. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. And Grant gets it Jerry to go. Grant. I like how Grant can three. play up-tempo, reacting fast to capitalize off a hot pass. On the wing, Durant. Westbrook outside. Pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. The three. Durant. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Now 
here's Bay, defended by Gordon. 11 feet out. Bay, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Gordon can't hit. Great opportunity. Just Eric couldn't complete Gordon. the play. That's his yes, second getting a little ahead of himself on that second play. Team. And the 76ers with now some changes. Tucker's history. checked in for Joel Embiid. Niang comes in for Maxi, And it's Harden in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Cunningham. 13 points in the win against the Hawks in Atlanta. And it wasn't just the scoring. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. Philadelphia has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Harden, the pass to Gordon. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Cunningham, defended by Harden. Here's Stewart. And finished off by Stewart. Making sure of it with the two-man slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Harden, the pass to Gordon. Puts up a three. And it's Harden. That time on the assist by Gordon. Gordon's got three assists tonight. Well, Harden will do this all day if the defense lets him. His efficiency from the arc can be devastating. Here's Cunningham. Down low. Here's Stewart. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. And that one's good by Durant. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Pass to Bagley. Here's Cunningham. Here's Joseph. Shot clock at six. There's the drive. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Cunningham. Cunningham's got six. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Got to attack when you have that chance. A lot of fans get a free T-shirt. Let's see, fans. Fans, you're so Jordan's fans. checked in for Durant. Olenek's checked in for the Pistons. What Lee comes in for Joseph. Your six, sir. 133 sir. left to play in the half. Pass to Tucker. Fires the three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got assist number five here tonight. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Impeccable timing on the rejection. Jordan takes pride in his defensive capabilities. Lee defended by Harden out of bounds it'll be Philadelphia's ball Philadelphia a moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Philadelphia 76ers on Saturday they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks and then on Monday they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers this is a cushy slate coming up they'll be facing a lot of beatable teams at home it doesn't get any easier than that in this league here's Niang well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Gordon outside. The three. And it's Bagley with a rebound. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. They grabbed their own miss. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Harden, the pass to Jordan. Hey, close out on Harden. Outside Harden. And it's off from three-point range. Detroit has gone four of four from three-point land in the second quarter. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Cunningham. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. He's just too quick to the cup. No one near him to get poster. Outside Harden. That'll count. Oh, 
Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Philadelphia 76ers. What a game from deep, making five trades. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball, uh, you know, get stops, and uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that, and uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome to halftime. And guys, so far, the game has belonged to Kevin Durant. The other teams made the mistake of letting him get hot. Basket is looking large to him right now. He's getting his shots from within the floor of the offense, forcing that little ugly defense to extend itself out there to the parking lot. And it's not working. And now let's take a look at our power rankings and see who's ahead in the early going. Looking at Philadelphia, they're off to a great start. Good analysis, knew this was coming. Lots of firepower, great character. When you have those two things together, you're unstoppable. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. They've got Kevin Durant, Maxi out there with James Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Gordon in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Inside Harden is such a tough cover. You know he's clever enough to turn any good defense into a foul. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Allie. No question. Shot clock at five. Embiid with it. Guarded by Stewart. Goes back up. Out to Gordon. Durant. Pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. And another shot. Maxi. That's good. Maxi's got his second basket of the night. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Here's Cunningham. Give him eight points now. No good. A bit long that time. The 76ers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now, check this out. Back in college, he racked up 13 points in just 91 seconds of play. Now here's Embiid. The kick to Durant. For three, Maxi. The rebound by Stewart. Stewart's got his fifth rebound in this one. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Greg. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. Here's Cunningham. Three-pointer, no good. Left side, Harden. From outside the arc. Detroit with a rebound. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Pass to Cunningham. To the paint. Lee on the wing. Just five on the clock. He takes it in. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Durant's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Harden. 
And that comes off the assist by Durant. Harden's got four points this quarter. The playmaking skills of Kevin Durant on display. Capable of whipping passes to open teammates. Westbrook, he's checked in for the Sixers. Diallo's checked in for the Pistons. Let's see how last year's top scores stack up on the 2K leaderboard. The fourth spot held by Joel Embiid. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. Third quarter here and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Bay. Here's Lee. Diallo on the wing. Lee on the wing. Clock at six. 11 feet out. And that one hits the back iron. He's had a tough time getting it going. And he's put this team behind the eight ball. And Embiid gets the double team. Count it. And now it's a 12-point 76ers lead. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Pass to Bay. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. That free throw, no good. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of making that happen, Greg. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa, it's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. Westbrook can't hit. Detroit has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. Diallo gets the bucket. Diallo's got seven points in the game. Getting the ball inside, usually a pretty good recipe. Up top, Embiid. Gordon outside. The three, Westbrook gets the three to fall. Give him eight. I don't think I need to tell anybody. Westbrook is a gunner. If the D isn't right up on him, when he gets the ball, he's taking that shot for sure. Now here's Bay. Pass to Bagley. Bagley sets a screen. Bay from long range. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Gordon, the pass to Durant. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Here's Lee. He's got five. Nifty move. And he lays it in. Lee's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, the defense allowed that. He had a clear path to the cup. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. And some changes here for the 76ers. Jordan's checked in for Joel Embiid. And Tucker is subbed in for Gordon. Westbrook outside. Pass to Tucker from deep three-point range. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. And the 76ers lead by 15. Here's Bay. Outside Olenek. Bay with a screen on Jordan. Lee on the wing. Bay outside. The Pistons need to get one up quick. And it's Olenek with a jam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Jordan. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Ooh, I really like how assertive they've been. I mean, they've been trying to bully the defense on the interior throughout this second half. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. Also, what touch they've displayed from long range as a team tonight and throughout this entire game. Here's Lee. Seven points in the game. It's deflected. 
Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit ball. keeps possession. Cunningham checked in for Lee. For the Pistons. Cade Cunningham. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for the Pistons. First one falls for him. Taking two shots. Both shots good from the strike. The 76ers have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Duran on the attack. And it's slammed in by Duran. The long strides of Durant gliding through the lane. Throw it down, big fella. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third quarter. They outside. Pass to Olenek. Diallo right side. Just five to shoot. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he played a stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And the first one at the line is good. Diallo. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. <laughs> They've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. Outside Durant. Knocks down the long tail. Durant's got seven points for the quarter. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but... And your Sixers! And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, it takes good vision. It takes good decision making right there. He showed both, and he did so at a very high level. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for the Pistons. Jeremy Grant out there with Marvin Bagley. Then it's Amadou Diallo. Then there's Cunningham. And it's Stewart in at the five. And they get it back for three. Gordon. Nice defensive reflexes from Jeremy Grant. Able to get in there and throw off that shot. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. Westbrook against Diallo. Pass to Cunningham. Yep, that one goes. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Embiid, high post. Outside Tucker. From deep. Knocks down the triple. And the 76ers lead by 15. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And here's Cunningham outside. Finds it again. Cade Six for 12 Cunningham. and remaining assertive. Point. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Count it from distance. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Cunningham, defended by Harden. Into the lane. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. <laughs> Strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Outside Tucker. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Westbrook can't hit. Detroit has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Diallo passes to Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Harden with it. Picked up by Grant. Pass to Westbrook. The three. Here's Embiid. 
played it in with a nice touch off the window. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Now Diallo. Here's Cunningham, defended by Harden. Here he goes. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Flying in with the one-hand slam. That right there was a statement finish. And the 76ers making a change here. Durant's checked in. Hey, he's checked in for the Pistons. Lee comes in for Diallo. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He implored his team to fight until the end. He said, quote, we might be up now, but we can't give the ball away. Don't let your guard down until the clock hits zero. Back to you. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Driving to the basket. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Detroit. That free throw, no good. Two shots. And he sinks the second. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. Outside Harden. Fires in the triple. And the 76ers lead by 13. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by Westbrook. Up top, Grant. Over Gordon. Here's Stewart. Oh, a beautiful reverse Isaiah layup. Stewart. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Pass to Embiid. Gordon outside. From deep. Philadelphia, the rebound. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Here's Cunningham. Stewart, a screen on Harden. Here's Cunningham. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Westbrook left side. And stolen by Bay. Here's Cunningham. And there's the slam! Don't to finish it all. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. It's Durant with a drive. The Sixers with another miss for Detroit. They've gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by Westbrook. Can't hit from in close. To the middle. Here's Harden. And Bay pulls it down. The Pistons trailing. Here's Cunningham. And that one good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 16 in the second half. Timeout call for Philadelphia. And here's Maxie, he's checked in for Westbrook. Coming up in the fourth here, Sixers. Kyrie. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Second shot opportunity. Embiid can't hit. Detroit has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. With the floater and Durant with the block. Beautiful defense from KD. A capable shot blocker, both on ball and in help situations. Embiid from outside. Rebounded by the Pistons. Stewart's got 11 rebounds in the game. You know, I think it's desperation time for them. For them to have a chance, everything has to go right on both ends from this point on. Going inside. Money! Team, great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Over to the wing. Pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. That one drops for him. What concentration from the process. Embiid not phased at all by the book. The trick ball timeout. All right, coming up to the court right now. It's your Sixers. Dan Here's Bay. Puts it up off the inbound. Catch. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. 
rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three point line. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. There's 31 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Durant way outside. And Cunningham pulls it down. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. And they foul intentionally. Now they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must foul situation to stop the second personal So the first one drops, and that'll put him up two. At the line for your Sixers. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Calm under pressure, and every point here means a lot. There's 14 seconds left in the final quarter. Grant outside. This is the tray. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. A fun-loving player on and off the court, Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. And here's Cunningham outside. The three won't fall. So it's the 76ers taking the W in a close one. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. Thank you. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Drive home safely. James, I'd love to know whether it's scoring, playmaking, or your defense. What aspect of your game are you most proud of? Being able to play a full course of the game and uh, you know and make an impact every single play. Uh, that's what I'm here for, and uh, that's what I have to do. It's been fun to watch. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant.